Morning, everybody. David Shapiro here for the final uh, fine tuning tutorial video. Now, in the first two videos, we generated some synthetic data, and then in the second video, we augmented that data and we fine tuned our model. Um, so, where we left off was we ran this script to fine tune it. And what this script does is it uploaded our file, our uh, JSON L file, and then and then kicked off the fine tune job to create um, our fine tune model. Now, what that looks like is if you go into the playground and you scroll down, you'll have something that's got um, your name and whatever tag you added plus the date that it was fine tuned on. So here's my fine tuned model for the plot generator. And this is the format that it follows. So there's two ways that you can consume the models that you created. One, you can use them in the playground here, but then you can also click view code and it will give you the code to use it. And so one thing that you need to pay attention to is don't copy my code because it'll have my model and you don't have access to my model. Unfortunately, OpenAI does not allow us to share models right now. There's a lot of reasons for this. One is, um, you know, privacy is the, is the number one thing. Because imagine you've got a model that is fine tuned for, um, with co corporate data or whatever. Um, and a another is safety, is if you didn't train a model, if you don't know what data went into it, you have no idea how it's going to behave. So you can't use my models. I can't use your models. Once you train your model, you got to come up here and click view code and you can copy this line right here. Whoops, right here um, to see like, okay, this is how you tell it which, which model to use. Um, but anyways, so I, the data that we created um, was in this format. So if you use just one format in your fine tuning data, you have to use that format always. Now I have other videos, namely my question generating one, where the input format it varies, but the output format is the same. So that's one, one way that, um, that fine tuning can be really good is if you don't know what structure you're gonna get, but you want the same result every time, fine tuning is a great way to go. Um, you can use that for resumes, for um, news articles, for medical text, whatever. Um, so anyways, let's, uh, let's do, let's, let's do a story. So this is, this was one of the, the pre-made prompts, but let's change some of the values. So, um, let's say, uh, da, 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 um, hard sci-fi, uh, location Mars. This is not stuff it was trained on. Um, so then we'll say 20, uh, yeah, 2810. And then the modifier will be, um, awe-inspiring. All right, so it has not seen any of these um, criteria yet, but it was trained on, how many samples did I train it on? Um, three, uh, no, that's the prompts, the completions. I trained it on 202 other examples um, uh, all over the world and stuff. So let's see what kind of, of plot it comes up with. In the year 2180, mankind has finally achieved the feat of conquering and colonizing Mars. However, the planet here, let me zoom out. Um, however, the planet is harsh and unforgiving, and the colony is constantly on the brink of collapse. The inhabitants are constantly struggling to survive against the harsh environment. Every day is a battle for survival. One day, a group of explorers discovered a long-lost underground facility. Inside the facility, they found a series of strange devices that seem to be completely out of place in the harsh Martian environment. This is a good plot so far. And remember, it had not seen hard sci-fi, although it, it saw sci-fi. Um, the location on Mars didn't happen. Um, the period, I did have some samples trained on the distant future. And then the modifier is awe-inspiring. Um, the uh, explorers activated one of the devices, and suddenly the entire Martian, Martian colony was plunged into darkness. That's not good. Uh, the colonists quickly realized that they were not alone on Mars. Somewhere deep below the surface, there is a mysterious and, mysterious and powerful presence that is now exerting control over the colony. That's fun. The inhabitants of Mars are now faced with the daunting task of battling against this new and unknown threat. Uh, the plot of the story follows the colonists as they struggle to survive, etc., etc., long lost history. In the end, the colonists have to fight with everything they have to save the colony from the unknown threat. It will be a battle of the, the test of their strength and endurance. Um, they'll finally defeat the unknown threat, reclaiming control over the colony. Um, the story will be awe-inspiring and gritty. Elements of survival of elements of survival and horror. Um, okay, it could give us a little bit more detail about the unknown threat, but hey, that's still a plot outline. It also might not ever show you because that's that's actually a, a, a theme that like if you don't actually show you like what is it the thing where you don't actually see the monster, it's just implied that it's there. That can be really scary. Okay, so let's try a different one. Let's do um, 
uh, um, historical docudrama. And then the location will be, um, uh, let's do France. And the year will be, when did the French Revolution happen? We'll just say French Revolution. And the modifier will be, um, will be, uh, da, 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 um, comedic and lighthearted because the French Revolution was anything but comedic and lighthearted. So let's see what happens if we kind of give it this twisted into knots. Uh, the French Revolution was a bloody period full of political intrigue. In this film, we will see the revolution through the eyes of a young woman, Marie, who falls in love with a soldier, Claude, during the war. As the war drags on, their love for each other grows strong, but so does the feeling of discontent from the French people. Wow, it's just going and going and going. Uh, it's on repeat. So this is this is one thing that happens when you fine tune um, Da Vinci. If you don't use enough samples, you'll get repeat. Um, so let's just delete that. Um, and this this is normal. I just use two hundred samples. If you want the repeat to stop, you either need to add stop sequences or use more data. Um, so it just didn't know when to stop. That's fine. Um, grow strong, discontent. Uh, people begin to rise up against the ruling class. Find themselves caught in the middle of a growing revolution. Um, Phyllis, Marie, and Claude as they navigate the, navigate the tumultuous times, trying to find a way to be together in a country around them is falling apart. They must face the realities of war, the threat of execution, the growing unrest. Um, so there's nothing comedic or lighthearted about this yet. That's fine. I didn't expect it would be able to do it. The film is a lighthearted take on a dark period in history, focusing on love. Oh, okay, interesting. While also exploring the social and political upheaval. Mix of romance, comedy, drama, and tells a moving... Uh, story of love against the uh, and loss against the backdrop of war. Um, we see them growing unrest. Okay, it's just basically repeating itself. So that's fine. And again, this data was was um, generated. This was synthetic data. And so one thing, another thing you can do is if you go through this and kind of look at these, you can improve them or you can automatically improve them. That'll be a future video where I talk about um, ways to synthetically improve um, data other than just deleting bad samples. Deleting bad samples is quick and easy, um, but there are other things you can do to um, augment these samples to make them better. So anyways, there you have it. There are a uh, quick recap. There are two ways to consume um, your fine-tuned models once you've got them. The first is just to come up here in the playground and you uh, search for the model that you just fine-tuned here. And then you can also do view code and you can grab this here, that little line of code, and that will allow you to uh, use your fine tuned model. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and consider supporting me on Patreon and we will talk next time.